While out riding, you might encounter problems with your bike, but some of these problems can be easily solved with just a multi-tool or using the bike's barrel adjusters. After some miles of riding, the tension in the brake cables can slacken or the brake pads wear down. You'll know this is the case when you have to pull hard on the brake lever before getting any traction. To fix this problem, twist the brake barrel adjuster counterclockwise to increase the cable tension. You'll find the barrel adjusters next to the brake levers, close to the brakes themselves or both. This will move the brake pads closer to the wheel rim. You may find one brake pad rubs against the rim. To fix it, turn this screw clockwise on the affected side. This will move the pad away from the rim. If the brake pads are too far away from the rim, turn the same screw anti-clockwise to move them closer. While you're adjusting your brakes, take a look at your braking surfaces. Most brake pads have a wear line. Once it's gone, it's time to replace the pads. During your ride, you may find your gears don't shift properly. If the shifting feels slow and unresponsive, or there's a crunching sound, it may be your gears are badly adjusted. When your gears are well adjusted, the derailleur moves the chain perfectly into the gears as you click the shifter. It requires the derailleur to line up perfectly with all the gear cogs on the back wheel. When the derailleur is out of alignment, then as you change gear, the chain won't sit properly on the cogs and you'll either get a crunching sound, a delayed shift or no shift at all. To fix this, you need to fix the position of the derailleur using its barrel adjusters. Always make small incremental adjustments, no more than a quarter turn before testing to see if you have resolved the problem. If you find the gears won't shift into the smaller sprocket or higher gear, twist the barrel adjuster clockwise. If it's shifting from the smaller sprocket to the bigger one that's giving you trouble, twist the barrel adjuster to the anti-clockwise direction. If your chain breaks during a ride, it can be repaired on the roadside. You'll need a chain breaker tool and a quick link. A pair of quick link pliers would be helpful. Maneuver the chain so the damaged area is at the bottom. Locate the broken link and remove it using the chain tool. Do this by placing the chain link into the front of the chain tool and turn the chain remover until it removes the pin. Ensure you have two inner links at each end of the chain. Fit the quick link into each inner link and connect them together. Then you can either use pliers to tension the new link or rotate the chain so the quick link is located at the top. Then depress the rear brake and apply pressure to the pedals. Listen for a click as the quick link locks into place.